Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we are making some Oreo protein cinnamon rolls that are probably the best thing that I've ever made. So let's go ahead and get started. Stick around to the end of the video to see the taste test and the calories and macro breakdown. So we're gonna start this out with 30 grams of all-purpose flour followed by 15 grams of a whey casein protein blend. I'm using PE Science Select Snickerdoodle. Then you're gonna add one and a half grams of baking powder and half a gram of salt. If you don't have a scale that can measure 0.1 grams, then click the link in my description to get yourself one that can. Then we're gonna add 60 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt, and you're gonna stir this together. You might think this is never gonna to come together, it's way too dry, you might think this is way too runny. It all depends on the hydration of your flour. So just keep stirring for like a long time before you add any extra liquid or any extra flour. For me, these ratios are perfect, so just keep stirring and it should come together. Next, you're gonna roll it into a ball, place it into a bowl and stick it in the fridge just to allow the flour to have a little bit extra time to hydrate and absorb all of the liquid to create a better dough. Now in a separate bowl, you're gonna add one and a half grams of black cocoa powder. This is the key ingredient to this recipe. Then you're gonna add 15 grams of swerve brown sugar, a little tiny bit of cinnamon and mix it together. Then realize that your bowl is way too small to mix it, pour it into a bigger bowl, stir it up to combine, and then pour it back into the small bowl so that your YouTube audience can see what you're doing. Don't skip this step. Oh, I'm not funny. Now we're gonna roll out our dough. I like to use these silicone baking trays just to keep things clean. We're gonna spray it with a little bit of nonstick, spray our rolling pin with a little bit of nonstick. I start out by just flattening it out and getting it a little bit smaller, and then I'm gonna cut this in half to make two cinnamon rolls. Now you wanna roll these out into very thin and very long logs. So to do that, you're gonna wanna squeeze it together into a log, roll it out really thin, squeeze it back together into a log, Roll it out really thin. Do this a few times until it, you get two long strips of dough. Now you're gonna take six grams of I can't believe it's not butter and spread it across the majority of your cinnamon rolls. You wanna leave a little bit of an edge at the very end dry. Then sprinkle your mixture over top. And if you want, you could put some Oreo crumbs in here as well. Tightly roll each cinnamon roll up, place it into a sprayed baking dish. I like to push mine down a little bit to make it more of a fatter roll rather than a tall roll, and they are ready for the oven. You're gonna pop into the oven at 350 degrees convection if you have it, and bake for 18 minutes. While those are baking, we're gonna make the frosting. To do this, we need 14 grams of fat-free cream cheese and whip it up a little. 14 grams of non-fat Greek yogurt and whip it up a little. Then you're gonna add one gram of vanilla extract and half a gram of butter extract. This gives it an almost buttercream-like taste. Four grams of away casein protein. I use PES Science Select Gourmet Vanilla. Whip it up and then add in your Swerve Convectioner Sweetener. I use 12 grams, but I have a nasty sweet tooth. Then I'm gonna take half of an Oreo Thin and fold it into my frosting and leave the other half for toppings for the thumbnail. Pull your cinnamon rolls out of the oven and dad gum, look at those things. Okay, you know what? I might actually eat these today while I'm editing this. As you can see, they are gooey in the middle, nice and cooked through on the outside. And uh, let's go ahead and put on our frosting. You can see we have a ton of leftover frosting. Personally, I eat it all, but uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. And then we'll take the remaining half of an Oreo and stick it on top for decoration. Look at these. Let's get into the taste test. Okay, I have class, oh my gosh, right now. So I'm gonna do this taste test really quickly. Here it is, going in for that bite. Mm. Oh my gosh. Honestly guys, try these. Please try this. I have no desire to eat like a full calorie cinnamon roll ever again. Mm. These are a 10 out of 10. I'm serious, like it is does not feel like a low calorie diet food. They are incredible. Gooey in the middle, everything you want from a cinnamon roll. And you can make like a regular cinnamon roll. I just think the Oreo is so good. I forgot how good these are. Not trying to hype up my own recipe, but this is one of the best things I've ever eaten. I'm gonna go eat this during class, and then I'll come back, we'll talk about the calories, macros, etc., etc. Is it yummy? It's so good, Mom. It's like one, it's the... Is it different? No. So it's 
the same one? Yeah. It's just so good. There we go. Okay, so I want to give credit. Hold on. Yikes. Hold on. So I want to give credit where credit is due. This recipe is based off of a few different people's recipes. The cinnamon roll base is based off of Greg Doucette's protein cinnamon rolls. The frosting is based off of flexible dieting lifestyles, cheesecake frosting. And the idea for the Oreo cinnamon rolls came from a post that I saw on First We Feast's Instagram. I kind of took different pieces from all of these different recipes and put them together, tweaked a few things, tried a few different things, and found something that I think is really, really good. So we know that it tastes amazing. How are the calories and macros? Now, if I look up Oreo protein cinnamon roll and just click on a random recipe, the calories for one cinnamon roll, but for mine, you get two. For one cinnamon roll, it's 650 calories, 22 grams of fat, 104 carbs, and nine grams of protein. That's just not something that I can easily fit into my calories when I'm eating 1600 calories a day. Now, the calories and macros for my or protein Oreo cinnamon roll for both of them and all of the frosting is 286 calories, 35 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and 28 grams of protein. You can eat these every day. This is what I can't stress enough. I don't think that we're sacrificing anything. When I'm eating it, I don't feel like it's a diet food. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. I can't imagine it tasting any better it's literally the best thing I've made. Before we get any further, comment down below what recipe you want me to make next. I'm really open to your guys' ideas and I love making these recipes, so comment below what should I make next. Now, if you want it to be even lower calories, here's some substitutions. Instead of using butter, you can use sugar-free maple syrup and mix that in with the black cocoa powder and the brown sugar and just smear that on the cinnamon roll, but the light butter I think is totally worth it. Also, I use one Oreo thin in the recipe. That's 35 calories. I think it's totally worth it for 35 calories, but you don't have to put it in. The black cocoa powder is really key to make it taste like an Oreo. You can use dark cocoa powder or regular cocoa powder, but then it would just be like a chocolate cinnamon roll and not an Oreo cinnamon roll. If you guys don't have black cocoa, I'll put an affiliate link in the description so that you guys can get it. It really is the game changer here. It's a big tub and it'll last you like forever. If you're just wanting to make a regular cinnamon roll and you don't want it to be Oreo, instead of using black cocoa powder, just use a little bit more cinnamon and do everything else the exact same. All I can say is that I can't wait for you guys to try these because I have no desire to eat a regular cinnamon roll ever again. I have these amazing Oreo ones. I can also just make the cinnamon version and they're super good too. So I am set in the cinnamon roll department. And they're easier to make than regular cinnamon rolls. Trust me, like I've tweaked this recipe so much. I tried a version with yeast in it and not only does that up the calories, but it also just takes way longer and honestly did not taste as good. I've been tweaking this recipe for a few months and I'm so happy with the way that it came out. I really, really hope that you guys try it and I would love to hear your opinions on it. Now there is one disclaimer. If you don't like the taste of erythritol, then you're probably not gonna like the frosting. My sister claims that there's some weird aftertaste in erythritol. I guess I was just blessed with taste buds that think that Swerve tastes great. If you aren't blessed with the same taste buds, it might not be as amazing to you. If you guys haven't yet, please click the subscribe button. It really helps me out. When I look at my YouTube analytics, it shows that not a lot of my viewers are actually subscribed. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Click the subscribe button so that you don't miss these awesome recipes. Another thing that I wanna say is I'll have links to all of the ingredients in the description and in the comments below. They're affiliate links so that it helps me out if you guys purchase something through those links. So let me know what recipe you wanna see me make next 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.